Welcome back to another episode of Tanner Takes. Got my usual suspect, Fred, yep. Logan. Mm -hmm. What's up, fellas? Mm -hmm. Hey, feeling good, yeah, brother. Feel what excited you, what for you the take on today? Hey, same old same, man. I'm going to throw these takes at y'all. Y'all tell me what you think, and right. uh, I'm going to start off. You ready? All right, let's do it. All right, first one. I'm going to rank my top five. NFC East oh, wide receiver. I'm excited Ooh. for this. Top five. All right. I want to right. see where CD Lamb at in this. So number you know one, AJ here. Brown. Oh, I'm AJ with. Brown. I got oh. AJ Brown. I think it's just obvious you can put him at number one from what he did from Tennessee to coming over. Yeah. He's just been unstoppable. He's uh, Mississippi. Number two, Scary Terry. All right. All right. Scary I'm, Terry. I'm with that. Every, yeah. Look, AJ and Terry are. Nick the Nick. Terry has 4,200 some yards. Yeah. AJ got 4,400 yards. Yeah. Terry got 2,299 yeah. catches. AJ got like 270 something. Oh, they something right right there. There. And they yeah. classmates. So they yep. Nick the Nick classmates. Mm -hmm. Number three. Um, this one right here is going to surprise y'all. John? Mm -mm. I have no idea. What do you got? Devontae just... Smith. Over CD Lamb. Over C Like, listen, Devontae I like Smith. Smith. You're, you're, you're a hater of CD Lamb. Devontae Land. Smith. I like that. Look, the reason why I, you know, and I'm comparing guys that I like and what they bring to the table. Without AJ Brown, Devontae Smith was giving people hell in yep. our division yep. already as yep. a rookie. Yep. Came in, you know, AJ Brown coming to the picture. He's now the Robin or the yeah. Batman, but they can be both Batman when yeah. you want to give him. The yep. man's a speed that he can stretch the field, he catch the ball over the middle, he, he can do it all. Um, I like him because he can separate, he can catch, and he hasn't had a drop off coming out of college. Being yep. the top wide receiver, he's still one of the top wide receivers in the league today. He's number three. Okay. Number four, CD Lamb. CD Lamb. CD Lamb. I had, to, I had to get CD Lamb some. Don't get me wrong. This no indictment on CD Lamb. CD Lamb is still great. I believe CD Lamb is a great wide receiver. Uh, he does play for the Cowboys, so you know how I feel about them. Yep. But I just don't. You when it comes comparing to them other guys that I put in front of him. To me, as a receiver, I was all about separation. He don't get it. And mm -hmm. C.D. Lamb is a phenomenal guy at doing what he does well. But he does a lot of that primarily from the slot. I'm a guy that if you could play the slot, you should be able to play the outside too yeah. to be called a receiver. Yeah. Now, if you're not playing the outside, you're, then you're not. Slot. You're a slot receiver. So yeah. I, that's the only reason why he failed a little bit on my list. No indictment to you. I still love you, C.D. Lamb, but you're number four. <laughs> and last but not least, well, five guys. Yeah. I got five. Jahan Dotson. Jahan Dotson. Y'all hear me now. Mm -hmm. Jahan Dotson might be one of the most skillful guys in this room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what he showed early last year, if he wouldn't have got hurt, who knows? If mm -hmm. it was a field, we always say that. Mm -hmm. But I truly believe with a great year under this EB offense, being accountable for all 16 to 17 games, yeah. this man could put up some numbers, man, and 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 I don't want to sit, but you know we got two Batman's here too. So <laughs> two Batman. J J Jahan Dawson is number five, man. He could easily climb up that ladder and be in the top two, top three easily. Logan. So I'm gonna say fire take. All right. My only question, my only little bit of mm -hmm. uh, would be the CD Lamb thing. But your reasoning, I love your what, reasoning. What about the CD so Lamb? So CD Lamb led the division last year in explosive plays. Yeah, we know. You know. Yeah, but and against no separation. All right, as a quarterback, I think out of all the five, he said. CD Lamb would be the easier after group for me to cover. And I do th I do think he has some good route running nuance, some yeah. good feel, right? To kind of like get set stuff set up, stems, yeah. tops the routes. I, I agree, not a great separator, but the production, it's just like Terry, like yeah. not an, uh, an elite, super fancy route runner, yeah. but the production's there. And I feel like CD Lamb is kind of in that and same And the group. only reason why CD Lamb is four, all that stuff is right. Yeah. I love, I told you, I love yeah. him. This yeah. is not a diagnosis to him. Sure, yeah, being no, I'm four. not saying that. Just, just my list. I feel like he gets way more targets than all these other guys. All these other targets. guys are sharing yeah. the ball amongst each other, yeah. Yeah. and he's the guy. So when you're passing the ball at a high rate like the, like the Cowboys was, that's why they had so many picks thrown, yeah. because they throwing the ball every almost every other down. Yeah. Yeah. You you should put up those numbers. Yeah. You should have those kind of outputs. So well, that's what I got to say. What I was going to say, and then Devontae Smith, the only yeah. reason, my only thought here was that, like, he – wasn't that guy when AJ Brown wasn't there? So can yeah. you say you think he can be? I think he can. Uh, I got some questions about yeah. him just being that. But he stayed a thousand yards yeah, that yeah. year without AJ Brown. He was he was getting a high target volume. Yeah, it's just yeah. he's not. And you know, it was his rookie hey, year. We're, we're peeling out. We're yeah. splitting hairs. Yeah. But that, yeah. that's my one thought there. Yeah. My one question is: What's colder than cold? 
Ice cold. <laughs> and that's what Tana Van Patten. I totally Patton. agree with that. Yeah. I totally agree with it. Now, what I would do, because I guess I'm the residential CD Lamb hater, I would take him out and I'd throw Darren Waller in there. The tiny no, I, 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 I'll drop hey, that. Listen, yeah, I'll drop tiny that. Tiny hip of the New York yeah, Giants. Yeah. That's who I'm throwing but, in there. Darren yeah. Waller, when he's healthy, definitely deserves nah, he, that. No, he's the yeah. most dominant, but I had to put him, I got to keep him with the tight ends, yeah. and, and yeah, I yeah. easily rate him one of the top tight ends in our division. But I love that list, Tanner. All right, fellas, next one. Who's the GOAT of the NFL now? Now, we could talk about Tom Brady's gone. I'm talking about the oh. NFL now. I think this is simple, but I'm talking about when it, when it's all said and done. When the career is over. Who's the guy we're going to talk about about our league like they do in the NBA with Joy? Yeah. And who's LeBron right now? Bingo. Me? And... I, I feel like I ain't have to reach too far to get this one. Patrick we, Mahomes. Yeah, we I all mean, got the same Patrick answer. Mahomes. I think Patrick Mahomes only started five of the seven years he's been in the league. Yeah. Three Super Bowl appearances, two wins. I believe he got MVPs in two years. Yeah. yeah. Man, the man is just, I mean, he's doing the stuff, and he still haven't had his best season yet, yeah. I don't think. Yeah. So yeah. If, he got a, if he got a scale of higher than this, I don't want to see it. No. Like, since you I don't want to be regular. Because all of us can easily say Patrick yeah. Mahomes. I mean, he got a head start on everybody got Super Bowls. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's got a Hall of Fame career. He's yeah. played yeah. seven Already. seasons, six Already. seasons. I'm going to go out on a limb and pick a rookie to show Whoa. my skill and my what? foresight. What is right? going on here? Anthony Richardson. I yeah. think when we, I I think, I think yeah. when we no. look back no. 15 years no. from now, Where is that? Like, Anthony Richardson is going to be a Cam Newton hybrid with a little bit of, when I say magic, the, the Joe Montana magic, all I'm telling you is Anthony Richardson. They, what's wrong with you guys? Come on, You're man. You're crazy right now. It's uh, easy for you to pick Pat Mahomes. Hey, it's easy. Yeah, okay, so it's I, I, what I was going to say. It's how you really feel saying that. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to say was Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald has been the most yeah. dominant defensive yeah. player in the history of the NFL. Mm -hmm. Wins above replacement higher than any non-quarterback over the last eight years. So if there's anybody who's going to be kind of your auxiliary to Patrick Mahomes, mm -hmm. that guy is the best we've ever seen do it at the position. And I'm not saying some crazy nonsense like Anthony Richardson. Yeah. Just remember that, guys, yeah. when you're looking for good an analysis. Hey, Anthony yeah. Rich, that was mark good. my word. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas, my next one. Which of my teammates had the best drip while I was playing? Um, yeah. And who's the guy in the NFL today with the best drip? Mm. So this one gonna be, y'all might not know this guy. You know, uh, when I was with the Jets, man, and I told you a story about when I went to, I went out with him one time, and it's almost like the guy float. Like he was like, oh. he was like Prince to us. Like this guy, <laughs> he drip every day. Like I would literally come to practice, man. I came to practice in some 4X, Michael Jordan jersey shorts yeah. and some Uggs yeah. some, that, that I walked on the back of and the t-shirt. That's how I came to work. Curtis Martin came. Pretty boy Martin. Three-piece suited. <laughs> to practice? Bro, Curtis Martin like he was going to a business meeting after work. He came to work <laughs> like he was going somewhere after work every time. And as a young buck, like I told you before, I learned most of everything I know from Curtis Martin when it came to how to stay healthy, mm. how to, you know, have a long career and how to just be a professional. He was big and, you know, instilling that in me and telling me, giving me a lot of game. But the one thing I couldn't learn is, is how to put on all them clothes every day. The man was dripped out. And I yeah. mean, what he did during the week was nothing compared to what he did game day. Game day he came with. And I'm talking yeah. about the snake skins, the, the belt match, really? the, the briefcase. Like the man came like he was really got doggone Superman. Like yeah. he was going to go out there and pull on the show. So Curtis Martin would be that guy who was the best drip, had the best drip. And if I had to pick a guy in the NFL, I'm gonna pick two guys. Two okay. guys to me stand out. One gonna probably be off the, you know, y'all gonna scratch your head about Kelsey. Kelsey got that drip. Kelsey got that Kelsey drip. Kelsey got that drip. And two would be Odell Beckham. Oh. Odell, Odell. Odell got that drip. Odell's in London at, at every fashion show and everything. He's else. a rock star. Yeah, he's, he's not he's a that guy. So player. those two guys yeah. that's doing it now. And Curtis Mont was the guy that did it, it when I was playing. There must be something about the New York Jets because my guy that I'm gonna pick. Was 100% dripless. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My guy showed up one day. No lie. I'm not lying know to the fan base. I we used to have to wear about. suits before we get on the plane. Lavernius, Marnie, and Cole. Cole's the dress, though, man. Cole showed up in a full sensation <laughs> with the shoes on. I'm talking about Karate Kid shoes on. I was like, dude, 
what's wrong with you? Like at the end of the day, he was fearless Ooh. in his drill. Yeah, he he was totally fearless in his drill, but he, oh, listen, you give a man millions, you don't give him any drip. <laughs> all right? That, that's all I'm saying. And I'm with Odell Beckham. I think Odell Beckham has the most drip out of any dude today. So I think both those are fire. Mm -hmm. And just because I, I got a little piece of NFL history right there. Mm -hmm. Like the idea that Curtis Martin or someone would come to the practice. Like people don't understand. Like coming up, coming here is like because you're changing. Bro, you're you changing. put your workout stuff on Time right away. Yeah. Yeah. And so for you to be all suited up. Nice shoes on coming in here. I think that that has to be the drippiest like player I, of all time. I used to sit yeah. in my locker as a rookie, like, damn, am I doing something wrong? Yeah, seriously. Like I'm coming over, boy, looking like I'm straight, boy. I'm going to the grocery <laughs> store and back. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Last but not least, which Washington's Super Bowl was the best or the most memorable? Mm -hmm. So we had three Super Bowl championships here. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you like this. I believe '91 was the most memorable Super Bowl. I believe that season, them guys went 14 and two. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, your, your man Monk was the one of the best receivers in the league, but Clock led him in yards. Clock yeah. had 1,300 some yards. Yeah. Monk had 1,000 some yards. Or uh, EB, our EB, yeah. Ernest yeah. Biden right. rushed yeah. for 1,000 yards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I believe they played Buffalo that Super Bowl, and they was beating by 27 at one time. Yeah. Buffalo should have got off the sticks. You know yeah. how we do in the yeah. man throw game. The sticks down. <laughs> 21 points, throw the sticks down. It's yeah. a wrap. Uh, that had to be the most memorable one. Buffalo should have just quit. You know what yeah. I mean? These yeah. guys were dominating these guys left and right. I, I believe both receivers had 113, 114 some yards. They could do no wrong that championship. 91 stands out. Oh, uh, I'm going to say Doug Williams mm -hmm. winning here. Yeah. That was what, 82? Changed, yeah, yeah I, I believe like it just, it, it, it changed everything yeah. because first black quarterback to win it, yeah. doing it in a city like this. And don't forget, Doug had just left Tampa. Like, yep. you know, people weren't putting Doug yeah. high up in right. it. And I think Doug this- said he almost got, got cut that yeah, answer before he did say that. So, yeah. so yeah. at the end of the day, I thought that team crawled from the fires to yeah. do what they did. Yeah. So I, I, when I say that's the one that I remember, because I can never forget the picture of Doug walking off the field. Mm -hmm. Doug walking off the field, yeah, that's, that's in my head right there yeah, when I special. think about Washington Super Bowls. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And that 14-2 was uh, the best team in the NFL history, right? That's, NFL. Like, that's yeah. what everyone thinks. Well, next to the next to the 17 and 0 or 16. Yeah, because B. Mitch was a first year player on that yeah, team. Yeah. Yeah. And they yeah. talk about how that's the best team ever. And then the, obviously, Doug won the Super Bowl. I mean, both yeah. those are outstanding. I, I couldn't separate. So you couldn't, go, you couldn't go wrong, yeah, really, yeah. right? They, the they, Bowl, they, they're all Super Bowls, they, right? Yeah, yeah, Super yeah. Bowl. You yeah. couldn't go wrong. And we did not add to that stash. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, as always, thanks, guys. And that's a wrap.